So let's talk real quick on red dots and bolt action rifles. Commonly, it seems like those two don't really go together. And it makes sense to me why that is because if you think about a bolt action rifle, what do you think about? You think about a hunting gun. And typically a hunting gun, if it's not staying iron sights, you typically throw a magnified optic on it. So it makes sense to me. But a red dot, I think, is a great pairing for a bolt action rifle for a couple reasons. Number one, if you're just using the gun for plinking, then I think that's a great alternative. If you don't have iron sights on the gun, it's a great alternative versus using a magnified optic, especially if you're doing low to mid-range plinking. Um, for new shooters, it's a great idea. Red dots are great uh, for new shooters. It kind of helps them with the, with basics of shooting a rifle, I think. Um, if you're doing hunting a small game, whether that's squirrels, gophers, you know, low to mid-range type stuff, I think that's a great idea to employ a red dot optic because you just have a better field of view. And as long as your eyesight isn't too horribly bad, uh, I think you're going to be able to pick up on the animal very well. Uh, another couple of applications that people don't think about is if you have a tougher red dot optic, you throw it on a big centerfire rifle, that makes for a good self-defense rifle if you're going in dangerous game country. Uh, when you have a magnified optic and you're in a place like Alaska or somewhere that has dangerous game like bears, mountain lions, what have you, um, you want to have a rifle that is good for self-defense. Well, if you prefer a bolt action rifle and you run a magnified optic, there's a good chance if that animal's charging you, you could lose the animal in your optic. It is possible. That's kind of why I prefer iron sights on bolt guns in that role because I don't have to worry about that. Now, another option is running some type of red dot on the gun. Now, sure, it may look kind of funky at first because people aren't used to seeing red dots on bolt action uh, rifles, but if you think about it, you have a very unobstructed view. The red dot gives you a nice, clear dot to aim with, especially in a high stress situation, so it works really well. Along with that, uh, self-defense in the woods comes self-defense in the home. Some people, all they rely on is bolt action rifles for whether it's that's the only type of rifles they have access to or it's by choice. Some people just prefer a bolt action gun. Well, having a short bolt action rifle chambered in something like 223 or 556 with a red dot on top of it works just perfect for home defense. Um, Nobody's going to argue that it wouldn't be accurate. It'll be easy to get a sight picture using that red dot, just like uh, it would be easy if you threw a red dot on an AR-15. So think about that. If your thing is really bolt guns, uh, think about maybe trying out a red dot. This particular example, this is just a Savage 22 long rifle, and I just threw this real inexpensive red dot on there, really cheap. And uh, I think it works best. Cheap little red dots work best with the uh, 22 applications. Uh, of course... As a side note, if you're going to be shooting something with a little bit more recoil, uh, you want something a little better than this. But uh, this is just a good representation of what I'm talking about. So feel free to comment. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, let us know whether you think, yeah, that might be a good idea or, oh, that idea sucks. So uh, as for me, yeah, I like red dots on bolt actions. Uh, would I use a bolt action? Uh, with the red dot by itself without any other type of firearm? No, if I had the choice, of course, I would put a red dot on a semi-automatic rifle like a Mini-14 or an Air-15, uh, Kalashnikov pattern, something like that. But um, I wouldn't rule out throwing these on the bolt guns. All right, I don't want to get too long-winded. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, stay safe.